Here's number seven. It says, which diagram shows a pair of angle measures that prove that A and B, these lines going almost vertically, are parallel? Now, they try to trick you a bit with this C and D looking parallel and possibly being parallel, but that's not what it asks. It asks you got to prove that A and B are parallel, these guys. Well, let's block everything off. If these two were parallel, that would be 120. This would be 60, 60, 120. All these could be picked up and moved right here. 120. Now, that's all that I could get. This D doesn't make any difference because I don't know if D and C are parallel. It doesn't mention anything. So right just from that giving me 120 and nothing here with A to prove, there's no way I can prove A and B are parallel. Don't fall for this. Yes, if that's 120 and C and D were parallel, then yeah, you would have something, but you don't. So again, we're trying to prove A and B are parallel, so don't even let D influence you any. Same thing here. I'm trying to prove A and B are parallel. If I have 120 right here, I need something over here to help me determine that they're parallel, and I don't have that. So right off, I know it's not that one either. So neither one of those, A or C. Now when we look to this B, now I've got something here because here's A, here's B, here's the transversal. It gives me, gives me a measurement there. <clears throat> well, let's just fill in. If that's 120, the linear pair right there's got to be 60. The vertical right there's going to be 120, or these are a linear pair. The vertical to the 60 would make it 60, or again, linear pair there, linear pair there, meaning that you got to add up to 180. We could pick these up and move them, so it'd go 120 there, the 60 would go there. Hey, it matches. This would prove that A and B are parallel. Now, let's just make sure D doesn't. Again, we're trying to compare A and B. Here's A, here's B, here's the transversal. you got 120 right here. You have nothing there to compare it to. So see how that happened in all these problems? There was nothing to compare it to when you were trying to compare the A and B. So right off, I know it's just choice B. I can see a lot of students making an accident in picking A because they think the C and D are parallel, but it never says anything about that. We're trying to prove A and B, and so the choice right here on problem number seven is B.